So what's going on with Microsoft 365 and this Copilot? So in today's video, we're looking at Microsoft 365 and the fact they've added Copilot to their subscription service. Now stay tuned to the end because I'm gonna show you a neat little trick on how you can roll yourself back to the classic Microsoft 365 and not have to pay that price hike. Let's jump on a PC and take a look. So what is this Microsoft 365 Copilot noise all about? Well, some people think that Microsoft have done a bit of a nasty by hiking the price of their Microsoft 365 subscription and getting them to pay for something that they don't necessarily want or even need. And that is Microsoft 365 Copilot. So what is Microsoft 365 Copilot? Well, Microsoft 365 Copilot is like an AI tool that you can use to ask questions or help with prompts that will get you uh, more content or get your content written for you or created for you uh, or help you, you know, build project plans or help you write a much better document. We have always had some element of AI in our Microsoft software. You know, we've had spell checkers, we've had thesauruses, and I remember back in the day when they introduced thesauruses, the big uproar that we had, there is one difference, and that is when you got your thesaurus in your Microsoft 365 software, you didn't actually pay any extra for it. It just came as an additional feature. What they've done now with Copilot is they've hiked the price and that is what's got people's backs up. So let's take a look at that. If we take a look here, I mean, this is Microsoft talking about their Microsoft 365 uh, Copilot application. It's talking about uh, explore how uh, to use Copilot for uh, business, enterprise, personal, and so forth. And if we come down a little bit here, you can see that the price for the plans have changed. You're now looking at eight pounds 49 pence for personal, 10.49 for family. And that is a little bit of a hike from where it was before. So what I wanna do for you right now is show you what Copilot does in my Microsoft Word application. But I want you to hang fire because I also want to show you where I think this could be a little bit of a problem for Microsoft. So stay tuned for that. So let's jump on to my Microsoft Word. And as you can see, I'm in here in Word and you've got this prompt on here saying, look, select the icon or press Alt-I to draft with Copilot. And you can see this little icon over here. You can also see I've got a Copilot icon over there, which we'll come to in a second. So if I click on this prompt here, okay, you can see this pops up this box and this box is saying to me, you know, what is it you want to do? Do you want to produce a summary of a file? Do you want to create a plan for? Do you want to create a proposal based on a file? Now, I'm not, these are all kind of like pre-prompts that, uh, you know, they, they Microsoft think that this is what you might want to do. But I'm not going to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I am going to type in what I want. So. I want to draft a proposal for my archery club that is targeting new archers in the UK. I want this to include families who want to do a sport together and it must include disabled people. Okay, so that's, there's my prompt. That's what I want it to do. I want it to draft a proposal for my archery club that is targeting new archers in the UK. And I want this to include families who want to do a sport together and it must include disabled people. So that's my prompt. Now I'm gonna click this button over here and I want this to see what it does. Hopefully it's gonna drop me my proposal. Let's see what it does. Okay, there it goes. I have told it what to do and it's gone off and it's created my proposal for me. I haven't had to do much work. I've just put in some basic details and it's gone off and 
it's generated it for me. Now, one of the things I think is quite interesting, if you look at my prompt, if I go back up and let's have a look, did it, uh, is my prompt still there? No, my prompt's not still there. But in my prompt, I did say that I was based in the UK. Now, if I hadn't said that, by the way, a lot of this information would have come out in US language, not UK. So, but we'll talk about that another time. Anyway, so here's my proposal. So that's great. That's really useful. So that, to me so far, might have a lot of benefit to small societies, small charities, that sort of thing, who want to, you know, help put together a, 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 a letter, a proposal, or something like that, and they just can't get their head around how to do it. So far, I think that's quite good. Let's have a look now at what this co-pilot button over here can do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back at the top of my document here and I'm going to click on this co-pilot button now and you can see here that it's got some further prompts. It says understand, do a summary, create an image, ask a question and so forth. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go create an image and I'm going to come down here and say generate an, an image of an archer um, uh, of an archer shooting a, a an arrow at a target okay so let's see what happens it's going to go off now and it's going to generate me my image so again i haven't had to go onto google i haven't had to try and do search for some stock free images uh, this microsoft copilot is going to generate me my own image that i'm going to use in my document so so far i'm really thinking this could be useful and there you go it's finished generating my image not exactly what i want because I like to have my target in there and it hasn't shown me a target. So I could go ahead and I could get that to revise, but for the sake of this video, it's fine, it's okay. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna come into my document over here now. I'm gonna select one of these images. I'm gonna select the one that's least terrorizing to animals and I'm gonna choose insert. And boom, there you go. It's put my image into my document. I'm just gonna resize that and I'm gonna put it where I wanted it, which is there, and I've kind of now got a nice, pretty picture. So I have got a document and an image all generated through my Copilot subscription. So that was really, really good. However, there's a catch. Let's take a look at what that could be. So if we go back onto the Microsoft website, so I'm just gonna quickly show you where my subscription comes into play. So. What you see here is my Microsoft 365 subscription. And as you can see right here at the top, it says at the next charge on the 6th of uh, the 7th, 2025, I will be billed £104 and 99p, including VAT. And if we go down a little bit further, you can see here that it talks about AI credits. Now, what Microsoft have done is two things which I am frankly fuming about. The first of which is their credits. I don't get free use of this Copilot whatsoever. I only get 60 credits in my subscription and I've just used two of them in this video. So I've already used two credits of my 60 credits of using a AI tool. Now that to me sounds like that's crazy. All right, so why am I getting credits for using an AI tool in a subscription where I'm actually paying for, okay? So that's the first thing that makes my mind um, boggle and it's probably some of the things that have upset a few people. But it gets worse than that. Going on to the second thing that Microsoft have done, and if we jump onto one of their articles, which is understanding your AI credits. So if we was to read this article in its entirety, and if I come down to the bottom, uh, we will see that it says, um, and let me find it for a second, um, at this point here, I have Microsoft 365 family subscription. How can my family get those credits? AI credits with Microsoft 365 family are only available to the subscription owner. 
That's me. So I have made the subscription for my Microsoft 365 family uh, uh, service and I'm the only one that can get those credits. The rest of my family can, tough luck. So my kids who might want to use this do not have that functionality. My wife who wants, might want to use this doesn't have that functionality. Only I have that functionality. Now that's crazy, right? Microsoft, what the hell are you thinking? Why would you do such a crazy thing? Why would you not give the rest of your family access to those credits? Even if they, even if you shared it out and said, look, okay, you get 60 credits and your subscription includes six people, give them all 10 credits. You know, you know, why wouldn't you do that? Or just give them all, you know, 60 credits. I think this is where Microsoft have kind of made a little bit of a boo-boo and this is what's got people's backs up. So you're now paying for a subscription for a service that you're kind of not getting the full benefit of. So customers have come back to us and said, Rob, listen, I'm not gonna be too, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't wanna use this Copilot tool. I don't wanna pay for it, so what can I do? So let's say you don't wanna use Microsoft 365 Copilot and you don't wanna pay for it. This is how I found how to get around it. So when you go into your subscription membership page, come down to where it says cancel subscription. Click that link. What that will do is that will take you to a page that will say, so you don't want to use the Microsoft 365 subscription. Is it because you don't want to use Copilot? Why don't you just roll it back to your current subscription without the AI? I've got the two subscriptions side by side. I've got my Microsoft 365 with the AI built in at £104.99p and then I've got my Microsoft 365 family without it at the original price of £79.99. I will then click on switch plan and that will switch me now back to my original Microsoft 365 family classic subscription without the AI. So what do you think? Is Microsoft 365 Copilot worth the money? At the end of the day, it's not really that much money, but let's look at those caveats with the subscription and who can have access to that subscription. Now, I'm gonna do a video shortly about how you can use AI for your home and for business use and not actually have to pay for it. So stay tuned with that one. My name's Rob from RLS Community Services. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.